So what is up guys, welcome to HET Tech and Motivation YouTube channel and there's a pretty sad news for our Indian consumers and pretty mostly sad for Apple that the iPhone sales in India are collapsing ridiculously and that is making a pretty clear path for the worldwide people that iPhones are just too much expensive in India and they are not really stacking up and seeing these records it's expected that Apple will not do pretty great with India in the upcoming years if Apple will never make a budget end iPhone. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing on this topic. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, now I'm going to be reading the article. You also can read the article right here. So let's read it. Apple iPhone sales down big time in India, data shows it is probably too expensive for Indian consumers. Last year, Apple launched three new iPhones, but with the prices of the iPhones in sync towards rupees 1 lakh mark, the number of people willing to buy the Apple iPhone in India is coming down sharply, shows data released by market research firm CounterPoint. So it is making pretty much clear sense that people will prefer getting a nice product instead of a smartphone for 1 lakh rupees. Even in India, you can get a fully functioning car in a second hand value for 1 lakh rupees. So investing so much amount for a smartphone really for an Indian kind of perspective doesn't make any sense. The, uh, now let's read up the next article regard uh, the same article with this news headline. So let's continue. The iPhone is too pricey for India. Phone consumers or the customers have always said so. But now there is data that kind of proves it. According to a report, the shipments of Apple iPhone were down by 42% in the first quarter of this year, compared to the same quarter in 2018. The report notes that while the iPhone shipments went up slightly in April because of big discounts that retailers offered on the phone, the slumped again in May and April. A report in the Economic Times quoting analysts in the market research firm CounterPoint noted that the iPhone shipments into India dipped to 22,000 or you can say 220,000 units in January to March quarter. The analyst told the newspaper that for a full year, the estimate is 1.5 million to 1.6 million. But even that would mark a 10 to 17 percent drop from 2018 and a whooping 53 percent drop compared to the peak shipments of 3.2 million in 2017. The report notes that Apple is now trying to kick start manufacturing of high-end iPhones like the iPhone XS and iPhone XR in India, hoping that the local manufacturing will help the company reduce the price while keeping the margin same in India. Apple, along with its manufacturing partner Foxon, already makes come of the older iPhones like the iPhone 7. The report, though, again paints a rather dismal picture of iPhone sales in India. The problem seems to be very extremely high price of iPhone in India. The iPhone tennis when it was launched in the last year came with a price tag of Rs 99,900 and even again I want to include some of my points that even when I went to Chroma Mall or any other sh stores or shops or authorized resellers which sold them, the price tag there was 99,999 rupees for the tennis and a shocking not one lakh nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine for the 10s max and the iphone tena came with a price tag of seventy six thousand rupees with a headline of a budget range iphone which in india the budget range title means a 10 to fifteen thousand rupees handset and not a seventy six thousand rupees headset 
and the iPhone XS Mac was launched at the price of rupees one lakh nine thousand nine hundred rupees, while the iPhone XR debuted at the price of rupees seventy six thousand nine hundred rupees. So I made a video. I my in my yesterday's video, I discussed about the iPhone XR's price drop to fifty thousand from seventy six thousand nine hundred, and this really makes us feel clear that the tariffing charges put in for the import duty are just in lot of percentage. So that Indian consumers, originally the iPhones value in India. Let's take an example for of an iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 in India now costs a seventy thousand rupees, and when you take into consideration the tariff, it's approximately fifteen thousand to ten thousand rupees placed on the single iPhone. So this is a ridiculous price difference that the import duty is so much. For a so pop, so much popular device in India, so in that the difference, the, even the tariffing price in India can give you a brand new smartphone for many consumers. So that's the prime reason. The I think the price is only the prime reason for the low iPhone sales in India. So again, thanks for watching this video, and hope so you have liked this video, and meet you in the next one. Till then, peace.